Quads are looking crazy right now. All right, this is what's cooking. Seven days out. Not the most graceful thing. I think out of every look, we keep getting better and better, and this was my best look to date. The leg workout in today's video is my client's Aiden's last time training hard for any workout before he steps on a bodybuilding stage in classic physique for the very first time. We are currently it's seven days, yeah. One week out from his bodybuilding debut, so that's that's exciting. Oh yeah. We are also running a like peak week trial both yesterday and today. So we've had about two weeks worth of carbs in the last two days. So should be feeling a little bit better. Oh yeah, I definitely by last night after that last meal. Like the head was feeling a lot better. I honestly sleep was about the same. Just because I was so excited to get even more food today. <laughs> I just wanted to wake up and get my freaking cardio out of the way and eat. But no, I'm feeling pretty good today. All right, well, we'll have to see how your performance fares because we have all of his weights and reps from last week's training session and we're gonna just try and beat the logbook today. That's kind of the main goal when we're trying to just hold on to as much muscle tissue as possible because he's just been so criminally low in carbohydrates and just calories in general. It's pretty restrictive. So in order to hold on to as much muscle mass as possible, we just train really hard and give him enough yeah. protein. Probably in like a thousand cal deficit. Yeah, it's been pretty steep. But he's pretty shredded as you're going to see as he trains, but also probably when we do some posing. I'm after. very happy with the conditioning we're bringing right now. and. Sunday through Tuesday, we can even sharpen it up a little bit more. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, any other final thoughts before we do this? No, dude. Let's just let's let's get this over with. <laughs> All right. The last hard day. First up on this leg day, we're going for the adductors. For a lot of lifters, including myself, for the first ten years I worked out, uh, they are usually behind, and they probably could use some work. Aiden's quads are pretty good but I think if you were, we're looking to just get, this is, will be more, more of an off season thing. When we're looking just to add overall mass. If you can add more mass to the inside of your legs, it's just gonna make your leg look significantly thicker. Uh, as of right now, we're just treating this as kind of just a warm up to get the hips moving, get some blood flowing, but also still just like train a muscle that needs to be trained. Looking to do upwards of like 12 to 15 reps. The first two rounds, we're not gonna do anything crazy like training to failure wise but the third and final round, we'll take that one super hard, and then we're gonna add in our intensity technique of rest, pause, reps, where once he finishes his set, he's gonna rest for like 10, 15-ish seconds, and then look to do three to five more, but the same tempo as the first 12 to 15 that he does. All right, this is that third round. We're gonna take this one pretty freaking hard. Yep. Nice. Yep, go. A few moments later. Okay, a few more right here. Oh wow, dude, my fucking knee feels weird. Like what? Does not feel good going down. Like a pain you haven't had before? Yeah, some weird feeling. We'll run it. Because I would fucking kill myself if you blew out your knee. I don't know, it feels really tight when I go down. All right, we are back on Oof. debatably the most soul-snatching machine in this entire gym. The pendulum squat. Dude, I don't even know what that feeling is. It's weird. We're gonna try and do some warm ups, and if it doesn't feel any better, I am cool with doing something else because if he blew out his knee right now, I would probably kill myself. So 
we're not gonna take any chances because this is literally the last workout, so I'm not gonna hurt him. I'll let me put a knee brace on. Let me feel it. Uh, now you're freaking me out. Yeah, bro, I'd just be cracking like an old man. The main goal as we're trying to maintain as much muscle mass as possible is to bias most of his exercises and the reps he's doing towards that stretched or lengthened muscle length. And how we're doing it on this one is one, just like going down nice and slow. And then once he gets to that bottom position, he's doing a quarter and then Ugh. all the way up. We're treating that as one rep. And we're looking to do sets of 10 to 12. All right, we've added some more weight on. This is, isn't as much as he used last week. I think he had an extra 10 pounds on last week. But I'm not taking this as a loss by any means. If we're gonna go a little bit lighter and still, I'm sure he's gonna take this set pretty freaking hard, knee permitting. And that's kind of, the training intensity is pretty much key factor number one when we're looking to maintain his muscle mass. So, I'm just gonna kind of let him judge it himself and push as hard as he can. Oh. Nice. Good. Oh, fuck. Come on. <sighs> yes, good. Oh. Yep, good. Nice. through come on <sighs> yep again <sighs> come on push good <sighs> come on there it is Good, go again. Yep, come on, go. Oh. Yo. Oh. You can call it there. All right, one more. Oh boy. Push. There we go. Shit. Okay, we are moving on as this is more of like an intermission between his next big quad movement. Just loading this thing, mostly so it's gonna be heavier towards that bottom end range, which is kind of the main goal of this entire program if you have not gotten the gist yet. Look at your quad vein right now. What the fuck? Quads are looking crazy right now. It's the carbs. Flex down on both of them. I think it's been at least a few weeks, I think, since we've done a video with this workout and shooting his hammies at this angle. They are definitely leaner than the last time we posted this. I was playing a game with my buddy Evan the other day. Not you, a different Evan. But he was telling, he was talking about coming to my little brother's grad party and he was like, I was showing him my pictures and he was like, dude, you gotta be out there at one of the booths as an, as an attraction, just shirtless. All right, we are moving on to the other relatively big compound deep squat motion. We have been given a variation with this, with this foot placement. The one on the pendulum squat was more like shoulder width, toes pointed relatively forward. This one is a little bit out wider than his feet and legs in general are just rotated outwards a little bit as well. We're kind of doing the same thing, just working up to a good old fashioned hard top set at the end. And that's about it. Last big set here. Last big set of prep. Yes, sir. Oh. Good. Mm. Yep. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh. 
Nice. Mm. Yep. Again, come on. Keep grinding. You got this. Mm. Yes, sir. Go again. Come on. You probably can't hear a damn thing we're saying. I never can. <laughs> come on. Nice. There we go. I need to learn sign language. Come on. Good. Let's go. Right, nice. Go. You got another one. Two more. Oh. Yeah, let's get one more. Last one right here. Go, go. Hell yeah. You, you said you can you can blend jasmine rice and a cream of rice? You just put it in a coffee grinder and just, because the cream of rice on the box, it just says, uh, what is the word they use? Micro, micronize? Yeah. Some sort of like, just like dis, disintegrated rice. There's, just, there's really no reason to just not eat the jasmine rice by itself then, right? It's, it cooks faster. You can cook cream of rice in like five minutes. Before we do our final quad movement of the day, we're going back to the hamstrings. This is gonna be a lot harder than the Langley curl we just did. This is the cast set that you have been watching him do for pretty much every muscle group. We've got at least one thing, and a cast set is six to eight, where the rep is gonna be hardest in the squeeze, holding the squeeze. Then it's gonna immediately be followed by six to eight, going slow into the stretch, where the rep is hardest in the stretch. And then we're gonna go back to the squeeze and burn out. It'll be like Heisenberg and Jesse Pinkman <laughs> cooking shit up in the basement. But instead of meth, we're cooking cream of rice. And a sick, nasty physique. Yes, sir. All right, this is the last time you have to do this. Good. Nice. Come on, keep holding. There you go. Get there, nice. Squeeze, hold, or not. Nice. Okay. Yep, come on, real slow, good. Nice. Yep. Come on, keep going, do more. Not the most graceful thing. Oh, fuck, man. All right, the last exercise on the last hard workout of prep before he steps on the stage. We're doing the exact same thing we just did on that seated leg curl, that cast set where it's six to eight, holding the squeeze, six to eight, nice slow eccentric, and then back into that squeeze, getting as far up as you can, and burning out until there's nothing left in that range of motion. Nice. Good. Sir. Keep going. Yep. Another one. Yep. Yes, sir. Come on, here it is. Nice, try and hold. Perfect, get there again. Oh, yeah. That's dirty, man. All right, this is what's cooking. Seven days out after his last hard training session. 
We were treating yesterday, today, and then tomorrow. It's kind of a trial run at peaking him. So tomorrow at roughly 10.30, 11 a.m. will be our attempt of what he'll look like next weekend on stage. All right, the last hard training session in the books. Yes, sir. You like the style of content where it's just raw gym footage pretty much. These guys being dudes prepping for a show that we are now one week out from. I'm go ahead and put it all on the line. Yes, sir. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave a comment. How do you think Aiden will do? Ooh, that's a fun pose. Good work. Sweet.